across the allotment. Take the track to San Michel. They might have blocked it. What about the pig tracks which are on? The photograph. Heinrich. That's the best way. Come on, Mother. Mother! Mozart lived. Don't trust the tall girl. Ensa. I once caught her trying to shortchange me. I said nothing but uh, she knew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and visit if you come to Vienna. <laughs> I'm ready to go home now. All I'm saying is the priest belongs amongst his people. The Nazis are not your people. It's not your duty to walk straight back into their hands. Did our Lord conceal himself? Now that I'm free, I shall be with my people. They're my responsibility. And you are my responsibility. That's God's business. Oh, I'm, I'm not allowed to help him. To help, yes. To decide, no. Please, Rex, I beg you not to force my hand. What do you mean? So I'm to exchange one jailer for another, is that it? If you were recaptured, what would happen to the people the Germans knew were hiding you? Luke. This is a nice surprise. I thought you were busy. Where's Clermont? Clermont? Yes, have you seen him? No, I thought he was in Saint Michel. No, what about Clermont? Well, he could be, I don't know. Where's Clermont? Another one. Well, he's probably in Clermont, didn't you see him? I didn't come through Clermont, he was the other road. A couple of German lorries passed me, I took off, and I heard gunfire. Something's happened in Clermont, something bad. I'm going down there. Shut up, move it! Philippe Bonnard. Yes, Vichy's tough man. Prefect of the region. Why? Nothing. We just find Clermont. I have to go out. See Max Dubois about this encoding business. Yeah. Do you want me to phone him? Break the news? Thanks, but he should be told in person. And it should be me. Yes. I owe him that, at the very least. Good luck. Something's wrong. It's too still. Listen. Even the birds have stopped singing. Come on, then, let's take a look. I don't think it's safe. I've got to see Clermont. 
Hey. All right, all right. Wait for me. I'm sorry to turn up out of the blue like this. My dear face, do you need an excuse to visit me? Please sit. Can I get you something? A coffee? Well, what can I do for you? I told you it was something bad. God, no! We've had a message from our people on the ground in Area 5. I'm afraid there's been a bit of a mix-up. It seems there was a communications error. Error? Yes. We've had a message from them requesting support. Now they've... mobilised. But you signalled they were to wait. Yes, but apparently they've gone ahead. They now quite naturally want reinforcements and weapons on quite a large scale. But this is disastrous. Quite disastrous. I know. But how is it possible? Such a mistake. I can hardly believe it. So, what happens now? I don't know. I've begun making inquiries into the supply situation. Things are different now. We have no choice. We must help them. Yes. You tell them. Your people, they'll understand. Yes, yes, I hope so. I'm sure they will. What's happened? What is it? There's been some trouble in Kumbo. I think you should come right now. What trouble? The Germans? They've killed people? I don't know. You're all lying. No. No! Wait, wait, wait. Well, in the church. In the church. Rex! 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 Let her rest. All right, Mother? Of course, child. Sit down. Yes. Do any good, you know. <laughs> Trying to bottle it up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Let it <rip> out. <laughs> it's the best way. <laughs> I never let myself. <laughs> oh, Sylvie. My poor Sylvie. Rex, wait! Father, wait! My friend, you lied to me. Nobody lied to you. You didn't know about this? I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you. Tell me now. Rex, what is the point? Read it to me, Rena! Unless this priest, the so-called man of God, surrenders to the German authorities, there will be swift and severe penalties for the community assumed to be concealing him. Assumed to be concealing him. I had to keep it from you. I knew what you'd do. You'd have given yourself up. I couldn't afford that. You couldn't afford that? 
You can afford this! When these posters went up, we decided to evacuate the village. Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Rex, I'm sorry. You're sorry? These people died for me. All of them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go to them. For ages. Where have you been? I've been in Cornwall. Cornwall? What were you doing there? Oh, God, I've had a pig of a day. Trying to make sense of Renard's sums, not to mention his handwriting. Then, when I got back, Etienne asked me to help him check the herds on the pie pastures. God, my legs ache. Adele, is something wrong? What is it? The Germans have massacred 19 people in the church at Cornwall just shot them down. No! I saw it. We were the first ones there. I helped to carry the bodies out of the church. They were still warm. Oh. 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 <laughs> and that's not the end of it. I've made a terrible mistake. I have to tell Clement somehow. I was going to tonight, but... Nicole, what am I going to do? Please, Luke. They'll get their chance for revenge soon enough. The last thing we need at the moment is a few heroes trying something premature on their own account. Ah, Adele, I was hoping you'd come. I have to speak to you. They'll be avenged, don't you worry. We have them in to do it now. We'll get even. I've been looking for you. There's something I've got to tell you. Yes? The thing is, I've made a mistake. What do you mean, a mistake? A mistake in decoding. The one? The uprising. London says it's not supposed to have happened. They can't possibly offer any support. What? No reinforcements, no weapons, nothing. They say it has to be called off. Called off? Yes. <laughs> Tell this child what she say. Wait a minute. Do you know what you've done? Those men left their homes quite openly. The Germans will know who they all are. Not only that, no support. I know. But what the devil... Leave it. Are you quite sure about this? Absolutely. You said that London was sending paratroopers weapons. You persuaded me to mobilise them. They'll be massacred like those villagers today. Do you have any idea what you've done? Yes. Oh, yes. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. Oh, 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 oh. Tell him. That the situation has changed. 
But our people are in desperate trouble, that we must help them. Will you listen? I don't know. Yes, madam, can I help you? We'd like to see General Lydiard. I'm sorry, madam, but he's in a meeting. Uh, and who are... Miss Ashley. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Miss Ashley. If you'd like to leave a message, or call back we'll later. We'll wait. I beg pardon? I said we'll wait. As you wish. Wonderful news, isn't it? Now, we got them on the run, eh? <laughs> Another unannounced visit? You'd better be careful. People will begin taking you for my wife. Don't worry, I use the kitchen entrance. I wouldn't want to embarrass you. What do you want, Virginia? Dominique. I need an answer, Philippe. Are you going to help us? Or betray us? disappear. You betray me. You betray France. You know exactly why I had to go away. Ah, uh, yes. The war. And your obscene attitude towards it. So why have you returned? To affect my political education? The last thing I expected was to bump into you the other evening. And neither did I expect to find that I still cared for you. So perhaps now you'll tell me what you intend to do. Well, here you are at last. Well, it was difficult getting away. I have to be very careful, especially after last night. Indeed. And I won't be able to come to Beaufort again. It's too dangerous. Very well. We will keep in touch by messages. Decide on a place to leave them, somewhere around here. So what have you got to tell me? I'm sorry, Virginia. I'm not going to help you. But I'm not going to betray you either. I see. On one condition. That you run straight back to that safe little island of yours and stay there. It's very noble of you. Everything I do, I do for my country. France must survive. That's all that matters. Of course. The reality is that the Germans are here. At least I have some influence with them. Is that what you have? In some places it's true there have been stern measures. But you shouldn't believe everything you hear. I've managed to keep our local commander, Stuckler, in check. He's not a bad fellow. God's sake, Philippe, I can't stand any more of this. Oh, you don't understand. You can't. You're not French. Tell that to the people of Cormont. They don't understand either. What? Haven't you heard? Your friend. They're not a bad fellow. He's had 20 men and women there, rounded up into their own church and shot. while you were collaborating for the sake of your country. It's because of you. You and your communist saboteurs. You provoke the Germans. You're the ones who have brought this onto innocent people. Oh, yes, it's you. You and people like you who make these terrible, terrible. If only you leave the Germans alone. No. You must go back to England now. I won't, I can't. I'll tell them. I'll tell Stuttler. They'll soon find you. Certainly. And when they do, they'll shoot me. And then they'll shoot all my friends. But you won't feel bad, will you? You'll be able to tell yourself you did it for France. Won't you? Goodbye, Philippe. The point is this, mademoiselle. The insurrection on Le Crest is virtually unique in Europe. 
A group of peasants declaring themselves a republic. What next? I don't understand. I said, what next? Are the British going to support them or not? I don't know. Oh, come, come. I mean, they don't know. They must know. They need arms, maybe reinforcements. These things don't arrive by accident. Well, I've asked London, of course, but so far there's been no reply. Find that very hard to believe. Well, you don't know what it's like up there. Things were chaotic enough before, but now with the invasion, everything's changed. Everything? I've never lied to you. Never. You know that. But, as you say, the invasion. Are you perhaps thinking that in a few more weeks the German army will no longer be here? I hadn't considered it. <laughs> then you would be the only person in France. But if we were to go, you, of course, would wish to remain here among your own people. You try and go quiet on me now, and after I've finished, I'll see that everyone around here gets to learn of our little arrangement. You wouldn't. I helped you. I've risked my life. I want to know when and how the British are going to support them, and I want to know quickly! <laughs> I am of no importance. I know that. But you took them instead of me. I think you owe me an explanation. What could I accomplish that will be worth the lives of all those people? Don't you understand? I must have an answer. Without one, I can only assume that you're imperfect. What if God makes mistakes? What if God fails? What if God doesn't love us? I have to know. Wouldn't it be better to take her away from the church? I don't know. It might be more disturbing for her to move. How was she this morning? Quiet, very quiet. Mother! Mother! She's gone. Any news from London about our support? Not yet. Perhaps this evening. There's a pile of stuff for you to do. Here's the list. He just caught me. Where are you going? Little job I have to take care of. Nothing much. I'll be back this evening. Well, I'll look after these. What would I do without you? Take care. And you? for someone. Ah, thought it was you. Why are you following me? Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're getting jumped, aren't you? I'd be dead if I weren't. And why should I follow you? You tell me. Oh, I've been keeping an eye on the German's favourite lap dog. And who might that be? Vichy's man in these parts. A piece of dirt called Bonnard. I don't recall that as part of your brief. Maybe not. Certain things might not be part of your brief, either. Just exactly what you mean by that. You, uh... You wouldn't know anyone like him, would you? A traitor? No. 
Not you. You nosy little... Queer. I've been trained to be nosy. Just as well, really, or I might never have noticed who you've been visiting. And we'd all have been finished then. I think we'd better forget this conversation. I think you'd better tell me exactly what's going on. I followed you to the house. And you drew your own conclusion. Well, what do you expect if I see you visiting a Vichy man? I know now you just about shut you. up and listen to me. You don't know any more about me than you need to. And that's how it's staying. If you think you can lean on me like some street corner bookmaker, you'd better think again. Lean on I you said like shut a... up! I'm ordering you to forget everything you saw and heard there. Everything. On which basis I shall forget your gross insubordination. But any further mention of this to anyone and I shall have you sent home. Is that clear? Loud and... And don't follow me again. He'll be here soon. You'll see. Any minute. My husband prides himself on being a punctual man. You can't run a business any other way. Oh, no. There you are, Sylvie. Mother, what are you doing? I told you not to go out. We can't keep your father waiting. He'd be cross. Come on. What do you mean? Where are you taking me? Come on, Mother, we're going home. We can't. I have to meet your father. He can't get here, Mother. What nonsense. Why can't he get Mother. here? Why can't he get here? Because he's dead, Mother. Dead? What do you mean? Mother, he's dead. No. No. Uh, where is he? I want to see him. General. Faith. We have to talk to you. I don't think you know my assistant, Gordon Stewart. Well, I'm sorry, but it'll have to be later. I have to go back into a conference. It can't wait. I'm afraid. It is imperative that we talk to you as soon as possible. I'll give you five minutes. I'll see you back in five minutes. All these for the rededication service. I'm sure I'll be appreciated. You won't be here for it. I don't know. I'm not sure I can face God at the moment. Adele, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What for? Well, I was half the reason you were late for your scared. You could have said something, but you didn't. Oh, shut up. Because of us, a great many people are going to die. I have to live with that. But don't try and come here and make me feel like a heroine. I'm just trying to say you don't have to take all the blame. Well, don't bother. You feel bad. You want to do something. Here, get scrubbing. Might make you feel a whole lot better. That's it. Everyone thinks the landings are going wonderfully. They aren't. One of the bridges has been a complete disaster. Haven't even got off the sand yet. The Germans are sitting on top of the cliff, picking off our lads as they step out of the landing craft. Mind you, they got further than some. The swell was bigger than we planned on. Swamped a lot of the landing craft. Went to the bottom, taking their occupants with them. They were wearing 50-pound packs, you see. 
I'm sorry, but I don't see what this has got to do the with The most critical people. day of the entire war, and you come running here because of a little problem caused by some wireless operator's stupid error. I understand it's not the best of times, but I need some guidance. Urgently. Indeed. And it's hardly a little problem with respect. Look, you've got a few days' grace. You've now lost that. It's unfortunate, but it's a fact. And you'll have to accept it, as indeed will your people out there. It's... difficult. Why? It's their responsibility. Because they'll die. That's why. Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. You could reconsider the decision not to reinforce. You know very well it isn't my decision. You could recommend. To do what? To keep 2,000 crack airborne troops away from the landings and send them off to some obscure little place that nobody's even heard of? But, sir, originally we promised... It's not on. We promised... And that's final. There are political implications. What political implications? The French. We're leaving their people in the lurch. Oh, I wouldn't worry about them if I were you. Well, I do. Dubois is furious. Dubois is of no real account. As long as the rising achieves its strategic objectives, which it will. The French won't make too much of a fuss, you'll see. What do you mean? Don't you understand? They're already fighting the other war. For who governs France after the Germans have gone? And? Well, from what I've heard, de Gaulle thinks there are a lot of commies down there. I dare say he's right. She's queuing for bread. Oh. I could go and fetch her. No, no, no. Perhaps it's better she doesn't know I've been. I, I can't stay long. What is it? What's happened? Nothing yet. But it's soon going to get very hot. Very dangerous. But why? The war's nearly over. Yeah. Well, the Allies will be here in a few weeks. Everyone says so. I don't care what everyone says. We must take no chances now at all. That's why I want you to. Leave here and go to Aunt Marie's. But that's so far away. Exactly. You'll be safe there. But you said we'd be safe here. It's, it's impossible. We'll, we'll never see you again. Look, you said yourself, the war will soon be over. Then we can all be together again, just like before. No. I can't leave you again. It's bad enough here. Elaine. You don't know what it's like. Never knowing what's happened to you from one moment to the next. Going to pieces every time there's a knock at the door. Trying to look calm all the time when anyone you speak there's to There's no me. choice. You must go. If you won't do it for me, then do it for her. Do it for Florence. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I've got to be near you. I have to go now. Already? I'm not supposed to be here at all. Here are the train tickets in case you change your mind. I won't. Why do I love you? Have you forgotten? Not for a second. I think of you so often, you and Florence. It keeps me going. Go now. You take care. I've lasted this long. They won't catch me now.
my friends. We are here today to pay tribute to those people who died in this church. Whatever our faith, whatever our uncertainties, this terrible act has shaken and confused us all so much that we can only feel sure of our sorrow and our feeling that the most basic sense of right and wrong by which human beings should live has been fundamentally betrayed. Even harder to live with is the emotion we feel, we who have survived this savage barbarity. It's a perfectly natural emotion I'm talking about guilt. I would like to perform a service for you good people of Cornwall. Let me ease your burden. Let me take that guilt from you. No! Nicole, wait! What's the matter? I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't stand it. I know. But that's it. You don't understand. But we all feel the same way. I was in church that day too. Don't forget. No, you don't understand. Of course I do. You don't. You can't. I'm speaking of something else altogether. What? What is it, Nicole? It's nothing. It's nothing at all. Please leave me, Adele. Just don't torment yourself so. And so it goes on. We torment ourselves with questions. Why did it happen, we ask ourselves? In a sense, it is easily answered. The Nazis wanted to show us they were stronger than God. That God did not exist. Since that day, I have spent every waking moment of my days asking him to remind me that he does. I can tell you, I can tell you now, he has not answered me. In the name of the people who died in this church of Cormor, I call on you now to reaffirm my faith. He keeps his peace. How could I? Believe in him. How can I minister to people who do? I can't. God is silent. God is no more for me. Nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing to spare. idea. But that arms drop tomorrow night to Area 9. It's only 15 miles from the crest. So why don't we tell Gaston to hold on to it till Clement can pick it up? Yes. I mean, Area 5's needs greater than Area 9's, eh? What do you reckon? Whatever you think. I'll get a message off to Adele tonight. Fine. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. We can't just sit around here and do nothing, can we? No, we can't. Yesterday was hard for everybody. You heard about Rex. That's a terrible thing. Any news from London? Nothing to get excited about. Antoine and Clement have gone across country to pick up some weapons. The first of many drops, they say. They hope. But they will support us, won't they? They must. Yes, they must. At the moment, we haven't enough weapons to keep a platoon at bay, never mind a regiment. You look tired. Oh. I could sleep for a week. Never mind, it'll soon be over, one way or another. Then life can get back to normal. I can't remember what normal life is like anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very humdrum. It'll all come back to you, I promise. I shall return to my family, you'll go back to your boyfriend, that's that. Nicole, what's the matter? It's nothing. I've just been unwell for a couple of days. Oh, my dear. I'm sorry. I think I'd better just go home and lie down for a couple of hours. Do you mind? Oh, of course not. I'll be back this afternoon. Not till you're better, ma'am. Uh you're so kind to me. Huh. I don't know much, but I hope I know how to treat a lady. Be back tomorrow with a bit of luck. Day after the worst. Right. Remember what I told you? Who could forget? You told me so many times. The farmer's name is. Del Mars. His farm is two kilometers west of San Michel. We're to stay there until our Lord and Protector returns. I mean it, Sylvie. Don't worry. I do. <laughs> I can't help it. Go on. We'll still be here when you get back. See you. Sorry. You startled me. You're writing to someone. What? Yes, just a friend. Well, I better be going. I promised Renard I'll be back this afternoon. See you later then. An hour ago. She was walking towards Beaufort. What? Why should she go there? Well, she seemed all right. She isn't. In 
fact, she's getting worse and worse. She keeps wandering off and then forgetting where she is. Well, I'll come and help you look. It's all right. I'll catch her up. My dear friend. What have you done? Simple men. Farm labourers, mostly. And their wives. Simple, ordinary people. And in the church. What kind of man are you? A soldier. And a realist. I thought you were one, too. Coffee? Coffee. Your country is founded on communism. That has been its history since your revolution. It is the worst kind of moral weakness. Moral weakness? You yourself are demonstrating this now. We are here to bring discipline and order. And when I give my word, I keep it. I want that priest. The Nazis made us. I said, there's nothing wrong with the streets, but we had to go. In our best clothes. What is the matter with you? You say you want order. You say you want the subversives out of the way. But when it comes down to it, you just don't have the stomach for the job. Those people were innocent. Rubbish. They were hiding him. If they weren't, they knew who was. Be realistic. I'm sure you will come to your senses. I have great faith in you, Philippe. Great faith. It's the priest. God in heaven, it's the priest. Of course. Oh, Jews, no, take them away.
Thank you.